Hello everybody, this is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy. Today I am going to explain about Environmental Studies Class 3 CBSE Syllabus. The topic is It's Raining. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the uses of water and forms of water. Let us start discuss our topic. Here in this story, whose name was Appu is an elephant. Appu ate bananas. Appu liked bananas very much. He plucks up and ate bananas from the trees every day. One day he saw that banana tree were drooping. It has not rained for a long time. I get water in my trunk, Appu said to banana tree. He started walking towards the river. Appu drank water, still he was happy. He bathed his body with his trunk. Then he carried water in his trunk and poured it on the banana tree. As soon as the banana tree got water, then came alive. Appu said, from now on, I will get water for you every day. After all, of you also gave me a ripe and tasty bananas. Where do the plants growing around your houses to get water? Appu watered the banana tree, but elephants do not water the trees. Then where do plants get water? Plants mostly get water from rain. When it rains, plant seems to be get a new look. Let us see why plants need a water. Yes, water is essential for the cellular function of plant and the process of photosynthesis. Most plants are terrestrial which means they live on land and water is relatively scarce. In order for a plant to survive, it must be able to obtain water to distribute all parts of the plant cell and then then conserve the water within the system. So, for this purpose, water is essential for the plant body. When it is rain, all the rivers, lakes and ponds filled with water. But when it is a sunny day, the water from rivers, lakes and ponds starts evaporate and rises up. Let us see how it happens. Sunlight causes water to evaporate into atmosphere. The air containing the water vapor is heated at the surface of the earth and rises up. As the air rises, it cools and the water vapor and condenses on some forms of particles such as dust, ash or smoke to form clouds. This particulate matter are called condensation. So what is a cloud? Let us know. Cloud is nothing but it is a thick mass of suspended water drops or ice crystals. How do clouds tell us? And what do clouds tell us? The presence of clouds in the sky is one type of a single meteorologistic that there will be change in the weather. Predicting weather requires the understanding of different types of clouds. To better communicate and understand the many cloud forms in the sky. To identify clouds on basis of five basic characteristics. They are the altitude at which they occur, their color, their density, the shape and the degree of cover. From this information we can identify there are three basic types of clouds and even other common there. Clouds can be classified by sim some simple but some subjective criteria that also provides information on the atmospheric con conditions. One form of classification is based on appearance or form. Using these characteristics, you can identify the three basic types of clouds. They are stratus, cirrus and culumus. Let us know about stratus clouds. These are thin sheet like clouds. They are layered with some rippling and cover a large portion of sky. They are frequently grey and thick. Stratus clouds are formed when air is forced up slowly. Cirrus clouds. These are thin, white colored with a feathery appearance. They are the height of all clouds forming at the height of 30,000 feet or more above the earth surface. Cirrus clouds are formed by ice crystals. They generally occur in fairy weather and point in the direction of air movement at their elevation. These clouds are usually the first sign of an approaching storm. Cumulus clouds. These are flat based blowing clouds with vertical doming. Often the top of plumus clouds they have a cauliflower like appearance. 
Plumous clouds are most prominent during the summer months. These are fluffy clouds formed when air is forced up rapidly and therefore rises up. Children, from the, this lesson, we can learn the important and uses of water and types of clouds. Thank you. This is Nanduram and we are from Sono Academy.